So after nine and a half thousand kilometers driven on 1090 adventure, I can share a few of my thoughts. I drive on average uh, 3000 kilometers a month and that's just because borders of the country still remain locked and uh, we cannot put really higher mileage on this vehicle. Uh, from the major things that I want to mention, the first is uh, when uh, I have driven uh, 4000 kilometers, uh, the engine developed uh, oil leak in this uh, particular place. Uh, I don't think it's visible, but inside uh, inside of the engine there are a few bolts, and one bolt uh, was not tightened properly by the factory, and I noticed that en uh, engine oil started to leak down here. I uh, couldn't really understand what's the problem and the problem then uh, quickly escalated so I had to take it to the dealers and so they said that uh, uh, in order to get to issue they had to take the almost whole front of the bike apart and uh, it was a faulty bolt so they kind of re-thread it and tightened it properly I had no issues with it whatsoever. So also uh, when I bought the bike uh, it came with uh, these what is optional crash bars and also it came with the uh, uh, heated grips. I think it's like really convenient feature and I think it's good to have in uh, different climate conditions and especially here in the mountain areas where sometimes when you drive high altitude up the temperature can suddenly drop significantly and uh, from myself I added these um, hand guards I think they're really nice in the most likely event when you kind of gonna fall so and uh, also I added uh, from Tourtech the riser for the front fender and, uh, and added uh, Dunlop Trailmax mission tires on this thing so I have driven just a couple of thousand kilometers with them. I will return uh, to say a few words about them a bit later. So also the panniers from Tourtech. I think uh, they serve pretty good. I took uh, the same sizes on both sides. Uh, usually from the right side comes a little bit uh, more narrow uh, case but I took the same size cases not to not to lose space unnecessarily really and uh, another thing is that I added the center stand so it makes my life a little bit more easier. Also the GPS mount in front, so I think I haven't forgotten anything else. And uh, so the few words about the tires. The stock tires I was really happy with on, uh, on the highway on wet and dry conditions and it was, I think they were working perfectly. But then I understood that I need something for uh, for the stone roads, for the dirt roads, for grass and 
these conditions that you can see here around so a few things uh, certainly they work absolutely amazing on uh, stone and gravel roads sand perfectly like the grip is amazing uh, when they struggle a bit it's on so-called uh, baby heads right then it gets a little bit uh, wobbly at the times but I mean they plow through just fine so I'm quite happy with the performance for the price and uh, yes I would surely say yes to anyone who is asking whether they should you know, buy exactly these type of tires because you don't lose absolutely nothing on the highway you have the same grip you have the same confidence on the twisty mountain roads as you had with the stock tires which I, again I will repeat they, they, they work perfectly so yeah I would definitely recommend it and uh, another thing that I want to mention <coughs> I find it's very important for to to say a few words is the dashboard okay I hear the people were saying like oh why didn't the KTM put the TFT color dash <sighs> my wife has a 790 adventure with all this colored thingy in front but I can say that I like this one better just because of one simple reason the digits on both screens are of significantly larger size than on TFT display. TFT display is mostly taken by the bloody tachometer and uh, a couple of more things and the rest of the digits are relatively small and that makes it difficult to see them while riding. So I, I prefer actually, like, I'm surprised myself, but I prefer this dashboard as, I would say, the more functional. It has everything you need and nothing you don't. So, yeah, I'm, as the owner of the bike for the three months, um, I can say I'm a happy owner, uh, regardless of that minor glitch that there was with uh, oil leak. That was easily fixed. I'm happy with the tires. Certainly that... Uh, ah, one thing about I wanted to say important one. Because as you can see, this is not an R version, right? And uh, I was trying to do stuff on this one as some would do on the R version. It resulted in a uh, bent front rim and the same bent rear rim so I had to now slow down uh, on the stones and rocks a bit quite a bit but I think I have a solution I think I will put the spoked wheels uh, which are of the same size as these cast cast wheels uh, from uh, 1290 let's see how that works and uh, that's my kind of thing of course the the price is a little bit painful it's like 950 euros but i think uh, i need more speed i need more speed off-road i think the suspension can take it of course uh, it doesn't like it but it can still take it and uh, I will to try to do this modification, basically to put these tires on the new on the new wheels, spoked wheels, and uh, to help me to increase the flexibility and speed in the off-road conditions. So yeah, overall, happy owner of the bike. I would recommend to anyone. 1090 adventure if you have possibility get an R version 
but also this version is very 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 capable no actually it's not this version it's just a adventure without the letters very capable beautiful bike takes you to the places and back safely thank you